Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and welcome back to another top 5 weapons and armor mods of Fallout 4. It's actually been a while since I've actually done one of these episodes and the reason for that is I was actually on holiday so you know I couldn't actually record the gameplay or edit any of the clips. But do not worry guys the weekly series will continue starting with this episode right here. I do hope that you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah. Let's get Marty with it. Okay, starting off our episode today, we have an armor mod by the name of Nightmare Batman by Tenebris. Probably some people's favorite superhero. I'm a bit disappointed that you guys don't like Star Lord, but I don't know, Batman's a close fifth, I guess. But seriously, this armor has been around for quite some time on the PC and I was actually wondering when the hell will it make its way to console. Then it actually made its way to console and then it got removed from Bethesda.net. I don't know whether that was copyright reasons but I can successfully say that it is now on that website. It has been up for around about 4 days now without being removed so you guys can go download it, go and enjoy it. This suit is absolutely insane, I honestly never even thought this would make its way to Fallout. This actually makes me hope for a Star Lord costume in the future, but besides from that, the costume looks great. You know, you get different kind of headpieces, and yeah, it's just all around fun if you don't want to stick to the lore of the game. But fuck the lore, it's a Batman suit in a Fallout game, go download it! But do you want to know what's even better than Bat Douche? Ant-Man, yes, that is right, a freaking Ant-Man suit in Fallout. This is amazing. And to make it even better, it is actually by one of my favorite modders at the minute, Lagri. I have actually featured a couple of his mods in the past and I have to say, he never disappoints. I honestly did not know what to even expect when I saw the image of this on Bethesda.net. I was actually away on holiday when I saw the image and I was like, holy shit, I should just like leave my family, run home straight away because it's a fucking Marvel's Ant-Man in my Fallout 4 game. That's awesome. But like the Batman suit, there isn't much customization that you can actually do, which is very disappointing. I actually look for customization in all of my mods, but set that aside, it was pretty awesome to just see that one of my favorite superheroes is in my favorite game. And to make it even better, you get this cool little blaster along with the mod, which in my opinion is a little bit overpowered, but still, it's pretty fun to use. Now apart from the outfit looking exactly like the one from the movie and absolutely amazing, there is one small detail missing. Where the fuck is my giant man enlargement button on my fucking suit? I want to turn into giant man! Like Re, come on dude, get on it, you gotta do this. Now tell me I may be missing Skyrim a little bit too much, but I do think there was one thing missing from Fallout 4, and that is capes. Yes guys, I really like capes in my games. This is the RWBY weapons mod by Cake Legends. And you're probably thinking, why does it have weapons in it if you're actually showing off the capes? Well, that's because this badass weapon exists. Yes, that is right. I am fucking exploding deers when I'm not even near them using a contraption on my fist. It's crazy, and it's just that much awesome. I don't know, look at that shit! Now I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this mod is centered around some sort of anime that is out at the minute. And I've got to say, if this weapon is in that anime, fuck, it's fucking awesome! Look at that shit, I could not get enough. Okay, so back to the capes, there is actually a lot of colors to choose from, so if your character does have a color scheme, don't worry, I'm pretty sure there is a color to suit you. And honestly guys, there is a lot more to this mod that I have showed off. That weapon in general right there is pretty impressive in a scripting kind of sense. Go and check it out. Next up is the Claymore Sword by the Rizzler. Honestly, when I equipped this thing, I was like, holy shit, look at the size of it. It's huge. 
But then again, I'm probably just used to having a tiny sword, if you catch my dick. I mean drift. But in all seriousness, the cape from the previous mod and this sword makes an awesome combination. It makes you actually feel like you were a hobbit in the Fallout 4 universe. I don't know, it's like a new race in the game and I don't know, that's pretty cool in my opinion. But then again, I'm just a huge nerd, so yeah. Now, there is a certain theme with all of these weapons and armors that I've showed off today, and that is, there's actually not that much customization that they can actually receive, which, you know, if you know me, that's a pretty big deal for me. But, I do love my melee weapons, and even though you cannot actually break limbs with this sword, I will be using it on a regular basis. Other than that, a very awesome mod, go and check it out guys, you won't be disappointed. Keeping in the theme with a Skyrim type mod, we have Psycho Powers by Catapum. Catapum. Yeah. Okay, so how exactly... Okay, I've missed the fucking line. But I was going to say, how exactly could we defeat so many Deathclaws? I don't know. How about we use magic elemental powers, such as fire and shit. And then I completely miss my cue because I have my editing all wrong. But it's okay, because this is Psycho Powers, and it's pretty awesome. Now I am definitely not doing this mod justice in one bit, but I do urge you guys to go and download it. There is so much more to this mod, it is insane, there's a quest involved, and there's a little bit of lore behind how you actually get these powers. And I've got to say, they just bring those Skyrim feels back to Fallout 4 by allowing you to use so many different things such as Absorb Life, doing a Death Hold Choke, a De Darth Vader Choke, you know, that kind of stuff. Guys, it's pretty fun, go and check it out. Like I said, definitely not done this mod enough justice. Guys, trust me when I say this is a very interesting and well thought out mod. And not to mention, it's probably took the modder quite some time to actually get all those different abilities to work as well as they do. They actually do plan to do a lot more stuff to this mod and to be fair, Already, there is a whole lot to do, lots more that I'm actually showing in this video, but seriously, take my word for it guys, take a chance, go and download it. Anyhow, that has been it for this week's top 5 armor and weapon mods, I do hope that you guys enjoyed them, if you did then please let me know in the comments and do leave a like, but until next time guys, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!